Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the call to OS 6.5 for this Redmi Note 3 which is based on Android version 10. So guys, let's begin. So as you guys can see the call to us version here is 6.5 the maintainer here is the gigabyte and the security patch level you get here is the latest october 5th one the build date here is october 14 the kernel here you get is the dark star kernel stock which i would say really a good kernel the performance here on this phone is just amazing it's really good okay let's see the settings panel here the settings is yeah as usual good going to the advanced control here are available and you get to see all the advanced control options so it is available then so here you get to see the digital well-being here as you can see which is also working absolutely fine then going to security you don't get to see the face unlock option the app lock here is working and the fingerprint sensor here i confirm here is working and you get to see the app lock here the face unlock here is not available the app lock here is available and which is working fine so no worries with that okay then going to the sound and vibrations of you get to see all the sound and vibration and the me sound sensor here is available here you can just turn on from here okay then moving forward to the display settings these are the display settings and here that animation here is available here which is looking great and all the display settings then you get to see the lock screen display and everything the ambient display here is not available okay 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 so it is not working the lock screen display here that is it for the display settings going to the battery here i would say the battery life on this rom here is just amazing i would say it's great i would say it's one of the best battery life rom here available here so i can say that it's one of the best battery life rom as you can see the screen on time was around 5 hours and 37 minutes and i just charged so you can say around 5 hours of screen on time i got so that's great 5 hours of screen on time so that is it for the settings now moving forward to the called enigma these are all the called os features if you want to know about it in detail then there will be a link for the call to us my i have made a previous video on the call to us version 6.0 you can watch that in that i have i have shown all the features and all the customizations you want to see if you want to see you can watch that video okay so that is it then going to the home screen this is the home screen available as usual as every rom okay so this is it and this is been talking about the quick settings here you get to see the Wi-Fi the mobile data here is working absolutely fine no worries with the mobile data 4G voltage here is working so that's it then the flashlight here is working the dark theme here is available here again you get to see the screen recorder nearby share then this is the home screen this is the launcher you get to see on pressing the long pressing on the home screen these are the options you get going to settings these are the customizations you can set you can do you can change the icon pack you can set the mm, show at a glance and everything you can customize the home screen customize the app drawer and miscellaneous settings you get to see the double tap to sleep and everything so this is great and this is the enigma launcher available here so that's it this was the launcher here then talking about the camera here you get to see the this is the snapdragon camera available here so i would like to tell you that the google camera or any of the google camera are not working the 6.1 the poco mode and everything all the google cameras are just not working the 7.3 and everything then talking about the safety net status the safety net status uh, is has passed but you will need to re install the magic you will have to root your phone to run the banking app so safety net status has just passed so then talk you get to see the google feed option available here talking about the geekbench scores here you get to, these are the geekbench scores you get to see the geekbench score are impressive here as you can see the 287 and 782 the scores are here scores here are just amazing and the overall performance of the rom here is also amazing i would say it's stable here the performance on this rom is just stable and it's smooth enough so i would say in the terms of performance here the rom is just amazing and then talking about the gaming performance here the gaming performance here is also just great no you will have no worries with the gaming performance the gaming i played call of duty mobile cod mobile and was running absolutely fine 
When talking about the call quality, you will have no problems with the call. The calls are also working absolutely fine, and you get to see the call recorder option available here. So that's great. So guys, this was it. This is the ROM here. Then talking about now, so this was a call to a 6.5. And I would say if you want to use for the daily driver as a daily driver, you can just use it as a daily driver. It's just amazing. It's working absolutely fine. Okay, so guys, if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, then please guys subscribe to the channel. There will be at the name of the Telegram group. You can join the Telegram group, and the link will be in the description below. Okay. Then talking about the bugs here, here is a bug in the Play Store. So as soon as you try to search on the Play Store, okay, okay, this time it just worked. But sometimes previously it had happened. Whenever you try to search anything, the Play Store was just get forced closed. The Play Store just gets crashed. So this was happening previously. Whenever you try to search anything, the Play Store gets crashed. So this was a bug present. This is a bug present here. In fact, so guys, this is it. This was the bug I faced. And then talking about the another bug here, like the random debug bug I haven't faced. The lock screen bug here is still present. So that is it, uh, and otherwise the random reboot bug and everything, the stock reboot animation, and so these are the bugs I haven't faced yet, and I'm using it from almost a week now. So these, this was it. Overall, the call to OS I would say is just an amazing ROM. You can use it as a daily driver. It's super smooth and it's stable. I would say it's stable. So guys, that is that was it. So guys, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, then please guys subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, then you can ask me in the comment section below. I'll meet you in the next one. Till then, stay safe, have fun, and goodbye.